Oh, maybe it's working. Okay, hang on. We're going to test this. I have been trying to get live for like the past 10 minutes, but my phone wouldn't work. Are we live? Join me. Let me see. I can't. Oh, yeah, we are good. Okay. Holy cow. That was insanity. Whoa. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that to you. Um, okay. So what happened was I went to go live and then everything froze. So now it appears that my hands are moving. It was a very trippy feeling. I have to tell you, I was waving my hands core and yet they were not appearing. It was like magic. The paper was in the right spot. Anyway, who knows? The internet decided it's going to allow me on now. Okay. So you guys, I can't wait. Uh, I'm doing this tonight because, well, this is, this is available tonight. This is it. It's here. Woohoo. So this is the new pre-order items that customers can get a month early. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Bugs. Okay. So they brought out these three wicked bundles for us from product. They're all products coming up in the new catalog, but we can get hold of these early. So they did like a just getting started bundle. They did a a little more please bundle and then they did I don't know this is the Ange bundle this is what we call it. it's just an Ange bundle so it says it's the gotta have it all bundle anyway so on the weekend Dale Hampshire who is the head of Stampin' Up Canada he flew in and he attended our team meeting which was amazing it was so much fun and we made a card with him and so I'm gonna make it with you today because I mean I've got other cards that I've made with this but this one's cute because it's actually this card right here now I am gonna change it up a little bit not a ton but just a little Okay, so we are going to start off with the stamp set because it helps if you have the stamp set to start when you stamp. Yes, you agree? Good. Now they're all on the same page. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of shuffling around because I want to pull out the products and I want to show them to you as we go. Okay, now in this first bundle, you do get block E with it. Okay, now if you don't know what block E is, this is block E. It's a big kahuna. Got it? Okay, so Blocky e comes with this bundle, which is awesome. So if you're just kind of new to stamping or if you need Blocky, e, this is the one you want. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to slap this one on here. Now you can tell my blocks are very, or sorry, my stamps are very well loved. Um, they get a ton of use. There is absolutely, I know they're stained, but it doesn't do anything to them. The only thing I'm wondering is if I actually cleaned that one after I put it away. So, or before I put it away, which would be very embarrassing. I am going to give it a little scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Good. And he's clean. Okay. So, you ready? Here we go. Move this out of the way. You don't need to look at that right now. I actually took my piece, and instead of using, in the sample card they do on the cover of the catalog, they used the Very Vanilla. And I wanted to use Whisper White. Did I grab my Whisper White one, or did I grab my Very Vanilla one? That's always interesting for me to check. No, I grabbed Whisper White. Okay. So, I have got Whisper White here. And, oh, look at Sharon's getting everyone on again. Love it. This is Grapefruit Grove. Hi, Mare. This is one of the new in colors that is coming out. It is gorgeous. So, did you notice that? That was a new ink pad. Did you notice how you open now? Boop. Open it like a compact. Flip it flat. Drop it in. Okay, so I'm going to ink up this bad boy in my Grapefruit Grove. Okay. Hey, we're special. <laughs> uh, well, it shows that other people are on. It's a bit odd right now. It's kind of like... um. I don't know. There's something happening with the internet, I think. Whatever. We're not friends right now, the internet and I. Okay, so I've inked up my Grapefruit Grove. Now I'm going to stamp it off. Why am I stamping it off? Well, I don't want it full strength. It's quite, uh, like, it's got a beautiful, deep color to it, but I don't need it that deep on this. Now I'm going to head up to my top left corner, and I'm going to go there. Like a flip phone! Totally, Corey! It's a total flip phone. Okay, let's check it. Woo -woo. Check it out. Gorgeous. Look at why do I love splotches so much? I find it very satisfying to stamp a splotch. Okay, next thing we are going to grab is I am going to grab this one, which is, I have to admit, kind of one of my favorite images from this set. And it's this very, I'm not a floral person, um, definitely not a fruity floral girl, but this one, it does it for me. Okay, so I'm inking this one up in Rich Brazzleberry. So you see, this is my old style ink pad. It's not the new one, okay? So this bundle is available starting today, okay? So now we are going to just bust in here, and we're going to stamp this in Rich Brazzleberry. Beautiful? Good. Got it. Done. Okay, now, I'm, I scrubbed that off. You proud? I actually cleaned a stamp. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go in, and I'm going to grab my big splooch, 
and my little splooch. Those are the technical terms for those stamps. So make sure you get it right when you're stamping. You have a big splooch and a little splooch. Slot these on here. I don't need this again for a minute, so I'm going to put it out of the way. Now, I am going to use my big one first. So we're going to ink it up. We're going to stamp it off, and then we're going to bust in and do that. Ink it up, stamp it off, bust in, do that. Ink it up, stamp it off, bust in. If you haven't got this down, now we got a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now this one I am not stamping off. So this one I'm coming in. You like splooches. The splooches are very satisfying. We're going to come in. We're going to use it like I did on that other card. I'm just going to use it to kind of highlight aspects of the flower. There. So he's got his sploochies. Now, next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab this cute little leaf. Okay? So he's my next one. Slap him on a block. Move you up top. We're going to grab a little old ball of. And with the old olive, I'm going to come in here, ink it up, and I come right tight in kind of through here, and I'm going to stamp one, and then I'm just going to turn it, and I'm not going to re-ink it, okay? Just to get that, um, like, fade it off, you know, a little bit more background-y looking. I'm going to do the same thing, head and out over this way. So I'm going to kind of go like this, and I'm going to go like this. We've got them over there. Now, a little bit of this is going to get covered up, so it doesn't really matter. Next thing I'm going to do is make sure I don't have ink on my fingers because I'm really good at that. Now, there is, if you notice, in the kit, um, in different levels of it. So this one actually comes starting in the A Little More Please bundle, which seriously, if you're gonna start anywhere, get that one. Each kit has freebies. So if you get the Just Getting Started bundle, you get the very vanilla note cards and envelopes free. So you pay for the other items, they're $74.75 in total, but you get your very vanilla note cards free. Or you choose and you get the A Little More Please bundle and it's got two stamp sets and there's the gorgeous. But now you're going to get the very vanilla envelopes, the big envelopes, and you're also going to get the Share What You Love embellishment kit for free. Now, this DSP does have Whisper White in it, but it's also got some gorgeous kind of monochromatic images, monochromatic prints that look gorgeous with very vanilla. Okay, so this is this little embellishment kit. You're not really seeing much in it. I think I took it all out. It's all over the counter. It's got these beautiful, intricate kind of dies that are done. It's got some gorgeous little embellishments. I can't wait to play with those. And it's got some really pretty twine. And then it's got, I have to say, is this embarrassing? I, I love the box the most. It's this gorgeous little card box. Um, and it fits exactly with our regular size cards. Okay? So, Focus Angela, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, I was getting out this. That's what I was doing. I was getting out that little label because I'm going to stamp on that now. Okay, so I need a block and I need my thank you stamp. Is my thank you stamp going to fit on that block? No. Marcy's watching. Hello, Marcy. Okay, we're going to slap this on here. And we're going to ink it up in that rich raspberry again. I know, why is it that we're obsessed with boxes? What is that? Okay, so with this... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm actually going to stamp it up towards the top end. Okay. Sorry, tongue was sticking out. Had to focus while I was doing that. Ha ha. Beautiful. Good. Got it. Okay. So next thing we are going to do, um, and I'm assuming, okay, I got to double check. I got to make sure. Oh, good. Okay. So the doilies come in this bundle too. So woo woo. Awesome. And then we've also got... Um, what else did I just use? Nothing yet. Okay, so the doilies come in that bundle. Okay, so now the next thing I need to do is I have to grab, kind of, don't laugh, I don't know where I put all my cardstock because I have been opening new packages right, left, and center. I think for this, what am I going to use? Hmm, where are you? You have to bear with me for a second. I'm hunting for a piece of paper that I just set down. Um, not you. And now I'm talking to the paper because that's super helpful. Okay, so I'm going into my Subtles pack. Oh, I found it. Good. I thought I was losing my mind. I'm like, where did it go? Okay. So I don't know if you remember this one. This is a little mint macaron. Oh, look at Marcy and Mary. You found each other on there. Yay. And I am simply chopping off a small piece. Okay. Um, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this in a sec, but I'm just going to leave it here for a minute. Okay, so our next step is we're going to move this. I'm making a mess. La, 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 la. Um, I want, for me, I don't know why, I feel the need, but I am going to put on a strip of this, okay? Oh, puppy's not, he's not in the room. He's upstairs with daddy. Okay, so this uh, Whisper White cardstock that I cut is three inches wide. So I am going to cut a coordinating piece of the designer series paper. 
Now, this designer series paper does not come in the middle bundle. It only comes in the biggest. It's insane. Hang on, look at check out the metallic sheen. No, I'm not using that side though. So you're just dealing with this pretty green side, which I do love as well. So I'm gonna slap a little fast fuse on there. You're like, why fast fuse? Why not snail? Because huh? I don't know where my snail is. It's not here right now. I have no idea where it is. It probably got used on somebody's science project upstairs. And it was probably the one off my desk, so now I don't have it. Okay, now, I will be honest with you, I'm not super accurate when it comes to cutting these. I, I'm not going to get all funky on you and pull out rulers and pencils. It ain't happening. Life is too busy for that. So I was just cut a slit at the center, and then I do use my ribbon scissors. Quick, gasp, cover your mouth, shock and horror. Um, I use them because they have a longer blade, and I can make it to there in one cut. Okay, so that's kind of my sole purpose. And using my ribbon scissors for this. Um, okay, let's go. Good job, 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 job. Good job. Oh, come on, match up. There. Ha ha! I did it. That was high stress. I don't like doing things like that in front of people. Okay, so next thing that we have got, and you're kind of like, I know you haven't figured this out yet. This is kind of not making all that much sense to you. It will. It'll look gorgeous. Okay, so I have got this. Now, I did do one thing. Um, we did have a plain piece of rich raspberry behind it. I will admit that the original one does not have this. If you look in the sample card online, it does not have what I'm about to do. But the card felt a little bit naked to me, so I decided that I was going to bust in and I was going to flower this bad boy up. So this is another one of the kind of gorgeous little stamps that's in the set. Just got these cute little four flowers. So I'm heading around. Now, the only reason I'm turning it as I go, you guys, is so that it doesn't look um, so identical to the ones like right next to it, like I just did right there, as I said that it shouldn't. Yeah, hmm, good. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Okay, now I'm just gonna double check. Did I get far enough in? Yeah, looks good. I wanted that on the background, okay? Hi, Becky. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna clean this because I'm kind of winging this a little. I don't actually have a sample card done looking the way that I want this to look. So we're just kind of playing with it. I'm gonna grab that same flower in that grapefruit growth that we were using before, okay? But this time I am gonna stamp it off one and then I'm gonna drop it kind of into the background up here, just nice and light, nothing kind of crazy. We'll just put it in there, okay? See? Okay, focus, Ange. Now, next step. Ooh. Ishk. Close. So that one's closed because I know I don't need it anymore and I'm focusing. Okay, so now I'm grabbing. Oh, oh. Check out this ribbon. Look at it. It's velvet. It's so soft. But the back is got, it, you could use it as well on the back side too. It just looks like a gorgeous kind of softer version of our rich raspberry. Okay, so what I am going to do here is I'm going to go foop. I'm going to make it a little bit longer than this. Foop. I'm gonna make that sound because that will absolutely help. And then this one is gonna go foop foop. Got it? Where's puppy? Puppy is upstairs with daddy. Dennis the Menace is upstairs with dad. He's not, well, no, he's been so good. He's exhausted. He was outside all day. He can barely keep his head open. Or his head open. Yeah. Having your head open is not a good idea. He can't keep his head up. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I am just going to snail this one right flat down, okay? So not getting anything crazy here. One, two, three. I feel like saying eyes on me. One, two, three, eyes on me. Does anyone know what you're supposed to say in response? Huh? Okay, so that's on. And then, next thing I'm going to do, and please don't judge. The velvet ribbon is so amazing, don't you think? I find it hard to tie a bow. Okay, so, Randy, I can tie a bow using my bow maker with this, but I cannot tie, I'm not very good at tying a bow and keeping it straight if I'm just like free tying it. But with my bow maker, I can, well, I can rock that. Okay, so right now we're gonna slap a little bit of this on here. And we're gonna put this here, going over. And then above it, I'm gonna put this one. I don't think I actually had any snail there. <laughs> I didn't, minor detail. Okay, whoa, don't do that. You guys know that. I just did anyway. So I'm gonna come in here and stick that. Okay, so we've kind of got those two strips going side by side. Now, this is actually gonna get stuck onto the card front using dimensionals. Have you guys ever heard the phrase, step it up? 
So you can take a card that's done in a catalog or that's done online, and often they'll be a little bit simpler to start and stunning. And then sometimes, I don't know, I like to step it up. I just like to add some stuff to it. Okay, so we're gonna stick this on the front. Now we have got this gorgeous one here. Oh, I like. Yep, that'll work for me. Okay, so with this one, what I am going to do, and see if this makes sense to you, I'm actually, because I don't have my um, adhesive strips right next to me and I don't want to make you wait, I'm stealing a little end piece, and I'm going to stick an end piece here, and I'm going to stick an end piece here. And I figure that this way, you like my stepped up version, thanks, that's cool, I'm feeling pretty special. Uh, this way you can straddle that ribbon, right? Like you can kind of get one up above and one down below. Oh, don't do that yet, Angel. Holy cow, just saved myself. Okay, another thing that is in the bundle, check these out. These doilies, ooh, ooh, do you see them? Pearlized, one side, other side flat. Okay, well we're not going, we're going to pearl it. I'm gonna take out a quarter ish now it looks more like a third whatever of a doily reason being I'm actually gonna stick it down here maybe I will do it this way so here's my thank you I'm gonna peel this one up don't get mad peeling it up peeling it up getting crazy slapping this one down with the um, what's it called side yep the I love dimensionalizing things oh it is a word, Becky. We have decided that we're going to create, I'm totally sticking everything to my fingers. We're going to create our own Stampin' Up! dictionary and we can make up whatever words we want. And dimensionalizing, by the way, it is a word. We totally are making it a word. Okay, now, where's, I feel like I want it on this side. Is that okay with you? Good. Glad I totally waited for your response. Okay, so <laughs> next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that kit. Where's that kit? This kit had some very pretty twine in it. Uh, different than Baker's Twine. Okay, so you know Baker's Twine. I mean, it's thick. And this card, would delicate be a word I would use? It's a bit more delicate looking, so I'm not going to go with my big, thick um, Baker's Twine. I'm going to use this. It's almost like a, like a thick thread. I don't know. I think it's very pretty. And then it looks like in the pack, we've also got a package that is um, Tranquil Tide and Whisper White. Okay, so if you are unsure at all of how to glue something like this on, all I'm going to do is I'm going to walk away because, you know, there's no glue dots right there. I'm just stealing all my ones from my paper pumpkin kits. I always use them up. Okay, so I'm going to take one of these off here. And I'm going to put it down. I'm going to send it this end. Okay, so I'm going to peel this off. Now, I do tend to roll them back a little bit because I don't want other things sticking to them so I kind of just roll it there oh the metal roses are gorgeous so there's adhesive backed metal roses in the kit okay now we did cut this and I do want to put it on because I feel like it kind of like added added a little bit of zhuzh to the card and there's nothing like a little bit of zhuzh now I am going to show you one thing where is it? I have to do my alphabet quick. A, B, C, D. Good, we found it. Oh my gosh. Hello, Christine. Hi, Carla. I have to tell you guys a funny story about this one. So this stamp set, we had it at my retreat. We were, you know, like everyone's using everything. And we had the, um, I can't remember. I think it was maybe the number four went missing. Okay, do you guys see the size of these? Like, these are not big, um, stamps they are teeny tiny stamps anyway so you got 20 women in a room the zhuzh. um we got 20 women in a room and this little tiny stamp goes missing and i'm talking there is craft stuff everywhere like there is no shortage of craft stuff happening in this room they managed to find this little tiny oh, look at that the four as i say that the four just made a jump for it four is crazy that four was found. They were, well, the poor sweet lady who says, I lost it. I'm like, okay, seriously? Nobody intended to lose it, and it is not the end of the world. It is the number four. And my kids have passed their fourth birthday. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We now have a, we have a 14th birthday coming up. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I am spelling the word friend. Now, do you all know this? That friend ends with end. We're going to be friends in the end. Super dorky. Can you tell I'm a school teacher? That's so bad. Friends. 
I should have put these on the block ahead of time so you didn't have to watch me do this. And we have to make sure that I've actually spelt the word correctly. Friend. You're a visual. Yeah, <laughs> Becky, I'm super bad at following instructions on paper pumpkin videos. So I don't know if I would watch me. It's actually quite terrifying how much I can like totally miss the mark on the instructions. Okay, so let's try this. We'll see how bad it is. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just simply going to... Oh, that is definitely not the font what they used. Hang on. Did I use a different... Is there another stamp set coming? You guys, I think there might be another letter stamp set. <gasps> They're in that bundle stamp set. Oh my God, I just learned something new. See, I told you I can't follow instructions. We're going to check. Hang on. Oh, I know why. Look at this. Okay, so love what you do stamp set. Totally. Can you see this microscopic little stamp set right here? No, you can't. Neither can I. Okay, it's called Make a Difference. It has... I always taught you fry the friend and that's the end. I love it. Sorry, whoa, something shiny. It has tiny little letters in it. This does not look the same and I don't think it looks right. Well, we're going to use it <laughs> because you are going to have a better one because I did not get that stamp set. Because Okay, so here, here's the deal. I didn't end up buying the bundle. I bought it in bits because when I did, I went to on stage in Calgary, they actually gave me the stamps that I did some display stamping. So I was given the stamp set in advance. I totally did not notice that the friend is from that gorgeous new stamp set, which, by the way, now I need. Awesome. Okay. Well, our friend is going to go on like this. Okay, come here, friend. You are not nearly as cute of a font. Um, and your bow is messing with me. Okay. I'm going to stick you on like that. That'll work. It's okay. I want you to envision the prettier friend, though. That sounds really bad. Don't envision your prettier friend. Your friends are all pretty. And that cracks me up. I love your French song when you did the one with paper pumpkins. And that's well. Can't sing cease. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now check it out. This, this thing just keeps getting better. So these gorgeous little pearls are also in the bundle. Um, so I'm going to take a few of these. And we are, again, we're going to zhuzh up this card. Now, I'm going to go with three, especially because this one decided he might need to escape. So we're going to slap you over there. Love, love, love it. How do you know? You can't not love it. Like, it's so cute. Everything about this bundle kind of rocked, too. I'm going to go with this one because you're pretty. And let's put you on there. Three. Look. I made a flowery card. Woo -woo! And sorry, it's totally not even my design, but I'm just proud of myself because I actually put together a flowery card. So I will show you the two different versions. Are you ready? No rhinestones. Oh, pearls. Oh, yes. Hello, gent card. Okay, so I'm going to show you the Stampin' Up! version. Foop! Right there. And then I'm going to show you my getting crazy version, which is this one here, where we just kind of zhuzhed it up a little. Um, changed it from very vanilla to a little whisper white. Now I definitely do like, I like this friend better than that friend, but I'm not going to pull it off because I know I will rip the card. Okay. So as you can see, you guys, it is a kick buns little bundle with some gorgeous accents, embellishments, super fine details. They kind of knocked it out of the park. As I've shown you before in those other cards, that designer series paper is gorgeous. So what you can see is like I said, there's the getting started bundle. There's the a little more please bundle, and there is the got it, have it all bundle. Now, all of these bundles, it doesn't matter which one you purchase from me, will come with special freebies from me. First off, I do have a super cute PDF that you can make six different cards. There's even an embossing folder, you guys, in this one, which I will show you later. But you get a PDF that gives you designs to make six separate cards. Super, super, super cute. Now, in addition, what we will do is with this bundle here, you may have a package of dimensionals with this packet, the, the getting started bundle. Okay. If you choose to get the little more bundle, please, you can now have the dimensionals plus you can have rhinestones. If you go to this bundle all the way over here, now you can have dimensionals, you can have rhinestones. And what can you have? What can I give you? What else? It can't be something from the kit because I can't even order those individually myself. So we've got rhinestones, rhinestones and, sorry, dimensionals, rhinestones and dimensionals. And then let's do rhinestones, dimensionals. I got nothing. 
What do you think? What do you think would look good with it? Throw some ideas out at me. Okay, so we will pick any kind of, you can actually pick the third embellishment. So it can be something, it just has to be under that pearl price, which I believe is, six, or sorry, under the rhinestone price, which is six seventy five. So if you did this bundle here, you're going to get rhinestones, you're going to get um, dimensionals, and then you can pick a third embellishment that's in the catalog that's six seventy five or under, okay? And then I told you about these ones. I think I got it. I think I've remembered what I'm saying. I don't know. I've lost my mind. But you guys, the DSP is only in this one, and you want it. Actually, you don't want it. You need it. You have to have it. We could do white pearls too, Randy. They could absolutely hack those white pearls in because I think they would look gorgeous with this set. Now, Oh, Whisper White Vanilla Twine. Nice job, Jen. Those would look gorgeous too. Any of those. Okay, so listen to these people. These people are coming up with great ideas. Um, but do you notice in this last one, you get the embellishment kit for free, just like you did down here. You get very vanilla envelopes for free, just like you did down here. But you also get the Statement of the Heart stamp set. So if you don't know what that is, I'm going to show you. Did you know that? see that gorgeous sentiment on the front of the box? Yes, it is that. I'm going to pull it. I have it over here. It is this beautiful stamp right there. Okay, so that one you also get. Oh, look at it. There it is. It's in here, which would look gorgeous stamped on the back of things and, the, you know, whatever. Even on the front of a card. Look at it. On the front of a box. Ta-da! Anyway, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. My hostess code is on my blog, but I will make sure to post it in here, and I'll make sure to put in your ordering link. Um, item numbers are showing in here now. The Just Getting Started bundle, I will put the information on that. The A Little More Please bundle, and then the Ange bundle. That's what we're going to call it. This is just the Ange bundle. And you want the freebies. You can also start to order the In Color Collection stamp pads. Do you see that? Woo woo! You can get them now. So we've got Blueberry Bushel, Call Me Clover, Grapefruit Grove, Lovely Lipstick, and Pineapple Punch. Okay, have an amazing night, you guys, and I will see you back tomorrow. Bye.